Sagittarius, uh, Eye of the Tiger. I got my eye on the Leo, uh, but I got my eye on a tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. So some of you are thrilling to have a fight. I don't know, but I'm hearing fight or flight. Should I stay? Should I go? But the eye on the tiger. So I've got my eye on Leo. Constantly got my eye on a Leo. So you could be talking to a Leo. You could be doing a lot of ironing for some reason. They're saying I've got a lot of iron levels. So you could be looking at... Well, exactly like me, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, iron levels, it came up for another one, another reading, but something to do with iron levels, taking iron. Um, so I seem to be looking at my levels. So uh, unless you're like plumbing something or you're a plumber and you're looking at levels, um, leveling, leveling up. So leveling up, upgrades, something to do with upgrades or retrograde. Is it, re it is retrograde, right? Uh, Sagittarius, but I'm looking at retrogrades or I'm looking at my grades and my school grades. So some of you, it's kind of like an online class that you might be taking and looking at your grades, but they keep saying I'm looking at retro. So some sort of like retro, uh, I don't know if it's design, art and technology. They're saying some sort of art and technology design. So like designing some sort of clothing or designing something that is to do with arts and crafts and actually designing something. So, I don't know, I mean, it could be artistic flair that you've got something like that. I'm also hearing a flare up, so I don't know if there's a flare up of skin, um, so like acne or something like that, but they keep saying um, like retro, like I'm looking at things that are like all retro, like different designs of clothes or different designs of like arts and crafts, like technology. I don't know whether it's computer based or it's just all kinds of like uh, colours and things I can kind of see in my head. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what they're saying. But I've got my eye on retrograde. So I don't know if any of you are kind of like reconciled with someone and you're kind of like, you know, when retrograde's over, what's going to... I don't know. I'm picking up school. I really do like people that work for a school or something like that. And I'm looking at my grades constantly to see if they're going up. Or like, I don't know, I have a YouTube channel. I'm constantly looking at my grades to see if they go up or my subscriptions if they go up or something like that. But I keep looking for something to go up and up and up and up and up. So I don't know if it's your temperature or you work for a hospital or something like that. And it's always looking at people's temperature to see if it goes up or down. So I don't know if you're like hot, like very hot and you have like a fever or something or a night. They're saying night terrors. Uh, Tara, the name Tara or Tara, um, but like I keep looking at tarot card readings and seeing if they're going up, or I keep looking for Steve's readings to see if they're got coming up yet. So I don't know. I keep hearing like I'm looking forward to seeing what comes up. So what goes up must come down. So I don't know. Like I said, it might be something that I'm into, which would be well not into, but like uh, mental health, which is depression and things like that. And I seem to be keeping an eye on my my own or my partner's uh, levels of like one minute you're up the next minute you're down the one minute you're up the next minute you're down it could be like a bipolar or depression but i'm keeping an eye on it just to see if it goes up or down uh i really don't know if this is a temperature or if it is something that is to do with like cosmetic or medical and uh i'm keeping a, uh, an eye on it just to see uh, it steve on on me keeping an eye on steve so I'm keeping an eye on Steve just to see if his levels go up or down. Uh, or I'm keeping an eye on uh, whether, the, whether the readings come out on time. Um, yeah, so, but it's something to do with around Leo or Aquarius. And I'm always keeping my eye out to see if the person comes up. Um, to see what comes of it. So, hold on. I don't know if there's worms or something like that. And I keep patting something to see if it will come up. Like trying to make something grow, or I don't know, unless it's an erection, I don't know, like, yeah, or a resurrection, something to do around uh, Scorpio, possible. But like, I'm trying to pat it to see if it comes up. So the name Pat, or Peter, or Paul, Paula, but I keep trying to pat it to see if it will come up. Pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. So is it something to do around baking? And it's like, we need to like I, I keep like kneading dough and stuff like that and to see if I can get it to rise anymore like if you're cooking pastry or something like that and like I'm kneading it to see if it grows anymore um, or I'm looking to see if the person gets any better at something but it seems th the message is is like I'm keeping an eye on it to see if it gets any bigger 
So, like I said, I mean, I, 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 hopefully it's not a lump. Hopefully it's not a lump or something that you've got on your person, like on your body, and you're having a look at it, see if it gets any bigger. So it might have anything to do with around weight, like stomachs or backside, posterior, I don't know. But I seem to be keeping an eye on like my health or my iron levels to see if it gets any bigger. So like I said, I mean, I don't know if this is like concentrating on your diet, just to make sure that something isn't growing any bigger, unless it's a, a lump that you may or uh, another person has, just to keep an eye on it so it doesn't get any bigger. Now, it might not be yourself, it could be, because they're saying something that's around an animal or something like that, and because uh, uh, I'm hearing like uh, the Muppets. Okay, sorry about that. Um, but like, I'm keeping an eye on my animal to see if it grows, if, if there's a lump somewhere or if there's something that gets any worse or any better, like an illness or like, because I'm picking up like a vet veterinarian or something or someone that works at a hospital or a vet um, and I'm looking to see if they get any better. So like I said, I mean, it could be like you work in a hospital or it might be like I just pop in to see my grandmother or something just to see if she's getting any better. Um, or I just pop in to see Poppy, the name Poppy, or Paula, Pop, Poppy, it keeps saying Poppy, Poppies. So unless it's a heroin addiction, <laughs> well, like, uh, unless it's plants, like I keep having a look at my plants to see if they're getting any bigger, like Poppy plants, or like um, Popeye, like spinach, like, so some of you might be like working out, right, and you're working out and you're like, Ugh, you're right, bruv, are they getting any bigger? Like, what are your guns like? And you're like, well, they seem to be getting bigger. So, unless it's that, like, you're keeping an eye on Popeye and you're eating spinach and you're like, you're right, bruv, are you getting on? It's like, yeah, no, they're getting bigger. So, I don't know, unless you're, like, very vain and you look in the mirror quite a lot. Um, I like, like Jim, Jelly and Juice and Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, or going to the gymnasium quite a lot and looking to see if your six-pack gets any bigger or if your ego gets any bigger or if your winky gets any bigger, I don't know. But like, uh, I keep hearing that I'm always checking on it to see if it's getting any bigger, or if the subscription rate is growing, or if my if a lump is growing, or if something that I'm working on is growing, or if I'm cooking or baking to see if it rises anymore. Because um, I definitely keep hearing rising up back on the street. Took out turn, took my chances. Like I took a chance. And I need to wait to see if it gets any better. So I'm taking a chance on you to see if you'll get any better. So I don't know if any of you have just landed a job or something like that with the name Rob or Robin. But I just landed a job and I just keep checking to see if it gets any bigger. Right. So it, it might be or, or any better. Like uh, you may have just like employed somebody or something. And I have to keep my eye on you to see if you're doing your work right to get any better at it. So it could be like grades and things like that, or you've just got a new job and your manager is always keeping an eye on you all of the time to make sure that you're always all right, or the name Shaw or Nadia um, or Gary or Tina. But um, I always keep an eye on you to see if anything is getting any better. Like it's a bit like I'm just popping in just to say, hi, how are you doing? Are you feeling any better? It could even be like, a, I don't know, a phone call from a friend or something. And like, I just need to check up on you just to make sure that you, how you're doing, right? Definitely keep hearing that as a message for a lot of you. And I need to check on it to see if it's getting any better or bigger. It's kind of like you're growing something, like an ant farm or something. I don't know, or the name Anthony or Anthony, Anthea um, or Anthony. But like, I'm always checking up just to see if it gets any bigger or if there are any messages for me and I keep checking to see if there are any messages for me. So is it where you're constantly checking your phone or something? And it, it, like I always, I'm always checking it just to see if there's, if, if there's a result, like I'm looking for results and I need to find out if I've passed or like I need to look at my results just to see if anything's getting any better. I mean, is it like your bank account or anything like that? And I need to look to see if it gets any bigger. But whatever it is, they keep saying that I am checking constantly on somebody or something or on my own body. And I keep looking at it and looking at it and looking at it and looking at it to see if it gets any bigger or better. 
That's what I'm hearing for you. Now, I don't know if this is like medic, um, if this is on your body and it's like, I don't know, say if you're putting on weight, for instance, right? And that you keep looking at yourself to see if your stomach's getting any bigger or like, I don't know. I mean, is somebody pregnant here and someone's pregnant and they're saying you need to keep an eye on your stomach because like I need to like, like someone that's like pregnant, right? Is they're saying, and I need to see if it's getting any bigger. So it might be where you go to the hospital in order for a retina scan or something like that, or it's to do with cataracts. And like, you know, because uh, I keep picking up, like I keep checking on my eyes and I keep checking to see if it's getting any bigger, like a spot or uh, acne or uh, cataracts. And I have to keep checking. I mean, it's a mole as well. They're saying something to do with a mole or the name Molly. Well, that's actually my dog. <laughs> uh, but like... Molly or like I keep because my dog has actually got um she's got a few problems at the moment so it could be a dog it could be a vet but like because I keep hearing a mole right and I have a mole and I live in a hole but I have a mole and I keep checking on it to see if it's getting any bigger or if it's like a uh, cancerous mole or you could be dealing with a life path seven or, or a cancer in itself or there could be a physical mole on someone's body and you keep checking it to see if it's getting any bigger um, something like that, but I mean, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't, like I said, cause I'm hearing mole, so I'm hearing Molly. So that's my dog. So like, you know, cause my mother has a, like a Sagittarius, I know people that have Sagittarius on their chart. So it's kind of like that or something that's very small. Um, I keep checking on it to see if it's getting any bigger. So it could even be a human. Like it could be a baby, a bye bye, do know? Like I keep checking on my baby to see if he's getting any bigger. Okay, or I'm going to the hospital to have it checked up to see if my baby's growing inside me or something like that, right? But it could even be a veterinarian or something, right? Is what I'm hearing for you. So that's esoterically, that's a few channel messages. Oh, you're at Sagittarius. So uh, we're going to rush through these because I am really rushed off my feet because I have um, a few personal readings as well. And uh, I've got to catch up with doing the next lot of readings. So I actually had a couple of days off. And um, yeah, some of you are actually waiting for your grades here. You actually like this could be involving a Pisces, but it could be study and education. And I keep looking to see if any if there's any change. Now, some of you, you keep checking up on multiple different tarot card readings to see if there's any change in a third party, or like you keep going to court for a lot of you, and you have to keep checking in with your um, bail officer, or I because I'm hearing an officer and a gentleman. Um, so Richard, the name Richard or Gear, <laughs> I very much doubt someone's called Gear, but like um, Richard, like so I keep checking on Richard just to see if he's all right, or um, I just keep checking up on uh, court and anything like that to see if there's any change in my circumstance. But if you guys are like checking on tarot card readings to see if there's any change in a third party metaphysical one, they don't never really change. You really could be also dealing with Scorpio energy or life path four for a lot of you. And I keep checking to see if there's any change. Uh, this would have, like, I, I, I keep picking up that I keep having to check on my bail officer or my officer and a gentleman. So I have to keep checking up just to see. Uh, but this would be at work. It would be someone that keeps popping into work and like, well, I've just got to go into work just to see if there's like any more clients or blah, blah, blah. Or I need to go back home in order to do some more work or uh, I need to pop into work just to do a little bit and blah, 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 and then come home if you're with a person. But because this could be that, like I have to keep checking emails and stuff just to see if I have any clients and if I'm working. Some of this might be grades, though. Like I keep looking at my grades to see if uh, <clears throat> I think keep thinking it's like a bail officer, something with an officer and a gentleman. OK, Ooh, let's not take those at the moment. Let's see. Uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius could have something to do around Libra or life path number two. Um, I keep checking to see if they're speaking to me yet. So, oh, so you've got tower. So it might be erectile dysfunction. I don't know. But I keep checking to see if it's growing. <laughs> oh, there you are. It's definitely growing. So, I don't know. I keep hearing like groaning pains or moaning pains, like the name pain. Um, but I keep checking just to see if Pam's all right. The name Pamela or Pam. But like I keep checking to see if they're all right all of the time. Are you all right? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, I've got a headache. Have you? 
So it might be where you're taking a lot of medication for something. Um, I was looking at hearing Tiffany, the, the name Tiff or Tiffany uh, or Tatiana or Tara. Okay, uh, Tanya, also Tanya. Um, yeah, but that's like, I keep checking at home. Like someone at home is constantly checking on someone all of the time. Like, oh, are you all right, dearie? You are all right? It's like, here's Johnny. I'm like, yes, I'm fucking fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you positive? Yeah, no, I'm checking on you. Yeah, I oh, know. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Are you sure? You, fuck. Bruv, I, I already said that I'm all right. Yeah, but are, are you sure? Fuck. If I have to say that I'm all right any more times, y'all going to get this. <laughs> right so it's like this constant checkup now for some of you it might be medical and you're constantly going for checkups like all of the time like checking up checking in checking out check up check out check one two something's around music one two something's around libra uh and check 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 Beep, hello madam Beep, hello check some of you might work at a check out center like uh, any kind of shop where you uh, products and blah 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 and you check it beep, beep, beep. people come through constantly all the time bitching and moaning wherever it is that you work and there's a lot of violent behavior and a lot of like oh dear, dear. it's like listen have you got any uh, no <laughs> so i definitely keep picking up like check up uh, check out center like i work somewhere where someone's always checking me out or like i'm always checking me out or like check me out Unless you're from Czechos Republic or Czechos plays pop. Someone do a pop quiz. Someone keeps playing a lot of quizzes. Quizzes. Um, anyway, let's see. Cosimodo. I can hear in Cosimodo. Something around water. She gave me water. So, like water, drinking a lot of water, or you're, unless you're dealing with a water sign, well, this would be a Pisces if you are, or a life path three, but I keep checking up on water levels, or I keep going to the toilet. It's also me. Uh, always going to the toilet. Like, I keep hearing, like, I'm always going to the toilet. Like, some kind of, well, <laughs> whatever that is. Like, I'm always going to the toilet. Well, that's my uh, antidepressant tablets. So they make me go to the toilet quite a lot. Um, cool, someone's left a monster in the bog. <laughs> someone's left a monster in the bog. Have you really had a shit that big? Really? Look at that monster. <laughs> oh, okay. Some of you are drinking a lot of monster. A lot of, like, sugary drinks. And a lot of, like, uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't drink them myself, really. Uh, but monsters or... Fucking the shit that gives you wings, right? And I keep checking up to see if they've got any more monsters. <laughs> Sugary drink. Um, so that might be what you keep checking up on and something to do with around your levels. Like if you're feeling very strange, you need to cut down on the monsters, is what they're saying. Stop drinking so many monsters at work like someone's a secret monster drinker here at work <laughs> that happens to be my girlfriend if you're watching stop drinking so many monsters <laughs> but like uh i keep drinking <laughs> you can't hide shit from me sweetheart i keep drinking monsters at work yeah this is a can of monster i'm just about to open a can of whoop ass on you look at your ass <laughs> so someone's going look at your ass like stop drinking so many monsters and you might not okay <laughs> this is i just heard her tell me to shut up <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend has got such a fit ass but it kind of it's one of those j-lo one of those really petite ones but it also kind of goes out <laughs> and, uh, uh yeah so yeah stop drinking so many monsters then sweetheart <laughs> uh, yeah she has a Sagittarius north node um, but yeah I keep hearing like I'm a secret monster drinker at work constantly at work doing this okay someone could be banging one out I don't know like we seem to be banging one out all the time at work really who's that I'm knocking one out at work someone's a secret knocker outer at work that's what I'm hearing like 
like unless it's banging a good old shit out your arsehole like when you're at work you're like Ugh! like are you, are you all right because i keep hearing someone's going to the toilet here because this is a monster in my pocket here or someone keeps checking out someone's bulge and they're like go oh, look at the size of your monster but i definitely keep picking up that someone is very dynamic around having a shit at work i mean some people are like that why i don't know but i'm hearing yeah i'm gonna have to like quickly push this one out like <laughs> <laughs> i can't have a shit at work really why not god <laughs> something going on around someone's bodily functions here i mean is it like um gastral hypertension or something like uh you know so sort of like oh jeez that's a good one <laughs> like uh gas someone's got gas or like you run out of fuel and you're from britain and you're like oh i ain't got no fuel <laughs> i ain't got no fuel see somebody keeps drinking fucking monsters here to get fuel they look at it as if like you go into a petrol station bruv and they're like well have you got a monster at the petrol station and they're like yeah i just like i need my fuel and it's like yeah well that's not really fuel that's like uh, uh like and like uh what do you call it fucking sugar uh artificial sugars <laughs> so some of you have got a sweet tooth or something like that let's see artificial insemin oh okay they're saying that there might be something to do with around artificial insemination so some of you might be trying or somebody like is thinking about getting pregnant but they're looking at artificial insemin insemination is what i'm hearing artificial insemination artifacts art attack also someone's like oh okay well, it's either art attack or heart attack. So be careful if you're drinking shitloads of monsters, man, or something like that around a heart attack. Okay, because what I'm hearing, because I heard I'm having a art attack. But trust me, there's another message there as well. I'm having a heart attack. So I don't know what that is for here. Art attack, heart attack. I mean, like I said, you might work for the elderly and stuff or or something i don't know um unless you've got like a, a pacemaker or something like that or um like a dodgy ticker like a, an I a irregular heartbeat and someone's on like beta blockers and they like they have an irregular heartbeat well if you have an irregular heartbeat and you're drinking loads of monsters then i wouldn't be doing that okay Let's see. Anyway, I don't know why I'm getting that through there, but that's what I'm getting. Because um, someone's got something throbbing in their... <laughs> someone's got something throbbing. Like, robbing? Or robbing someone? Or throbbing? Like, robbing? The name Robin? But like, uh, throbbing. A throbbing member. Really? <laughs> I'm a member. Ember, Amber, Abby, Abigail, Abbott. Let's see. Sagittarius from the 7th until the 14th. Um, five, <laughs> really? What the fuck? Five, six, seven, eight. Home from home. I work from home and I work from home. Really? I work from home. I, I work in the home. This is an elderly patient, people. It came up for another reading. Capricorn, I think. Uh, I work in the home, which is a place here called um, Askham House for elderly people. And I work in the home or the hall or the hotel or something. Bates Motel, Cafe. Um, fuck is this, bruv? Someone always feels left out. Like, I always feel left out. I always feel pushed in the corner. I always feel as if I'm being cornered and attacked by someone. Um, yeah, I always feel left out. I always feel the odd one out. Or I'm filling up or filling out. Or your name's Phil. Phil McCracken. I don't know. Philip. 
Prince Philip. Let's see. Um, Sagittarius. The moon. Jesus, what the fuck is going on here? Well, life path nine or a Virgo or your mother. Like my mother always puts me down or their mother always puts me down. But like they always, always rely on me all of the time. And it's what the fuck is this? You got like a, yourselves like Sagittarius Taurus five here. And you've kind of got this very destructive pattern of way of living. It's kind of like coexisting, but not liking. Do you know what I mean? I don't like the way that I live here. I don't like how I live. Or the name Livia or Faith. But I don't seem to have much faith in this situation at all. So some of you, it might be the fact that you've got to go to court here and you don't have much faith in it. Um, because I'm giving George or Michael and I don't seem to have any faith in them at all. Some of you are losing faith in everything. I've lost faith. I've lost faith. Faye. I'm also hearing Faye. Faye Gardner. <coughs> um, oh fuck, man. Well, this person's confused and complicated. It's complicated. Let's see. Set the other person. Nine. Again. Virgo. Jen. Julian. Jason. Justin. Jackie. Jasmine. Fuck is going on here, bruv? I don't know. Like. Nothing, really. Nothing. Just like single. Fed up. Uh. <sighs> I can't find a storyline. I really can't. Um, looking after my health. I'm looking after an elderly patient. I'm losing my patience. I'm losing the will to fucking live. <laughs> yeah. Like I seem to be losing the will to live. I seem to be losing my children. I seem to be losing friends. Nobody really wants anything to do with me. Like I seem to be losing everybody. Like all my clients, all my people, or like everybody just seems to be fucking absconded here. Yeah, like everybody's gone like i'm just fucking on my own stranded it's been a while but like well it's been a while but or the name kim or wild or someone's extremely wild all the time and they wonder why no one wants to be around them here i don't know it might be in the family jenny it might be jenny jenny don't be hasty you might be looking pasty hasty you might be looking pasty Steve might be looking white, I don't know, or the name White, somebody white, um, or just looking pasty. Um, single for a lot of you, single mothers, uh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, well you can also watch this as a Taurus, don't forget because you're a five, because I read in the lines of numerology and the videos explain that below. Um, Let's see. Show me the other person connected to Sagittarius from the 7th until the 14th. Ace of Cups. Well, I'm living life, baby. You just stay there. I'll do me. You do you. So this could be the family affair. And that could be sort of like all kinds of like weird shit going on. And then here it's kind of like, well, I'm here, there and everywhere, really. So a single motivated single mother for a lot. Like I'm single, but I'm also very fucking dynamic, at least strange. <laughs> Mm. Um, yeah so some of you your love life is non-existent here is what I'm picking up but it is on this side because this person's single they're being offered something show me the other person connected to Sagittarius <sighs> Jesus man here we go again man sorry because the last few readings I've got bored with doing tarot because the same storyline has been coming out repetitively over the last four readings. Mainly the ones that I've done today. And it was all about children. And it was all about no access to my kids or children. Having to go to child court. Having to go to court. Or I got caught cheating or lying. Or like I having to go to check on my bail pro pro parole officer and all of that kind of stuff. And 
that kind of thing and that I have to go here and check up on my kids but they don't want to know like or like these are older children and they don't speak to me and they don't want to know and I don't speak to my kids because they're getting on with their own love life on this side they're getting on with their own love life and they seem to be single and independent away from me that seems to be codependent on someone that's independent so it's kind of like i don't want tying down i don't want a commitment here i don't you know i mean like i said it might be the fact that this person's in a relationship compared to this person that's codependent this person's independent right but um there's a a a, a better way of living um bessie um old betty uh bet midler middle middleton middleton i don't know i keep hearing like some of this is family and it's going to court here and you i'm not speaking i'm not talking and i have to go and visit the courts and this parole officer and all of that kind of stuff and blah 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 so on and so forth and it's all to do with some mothers do have them right and if this is like your mother some of you don't get on with them you're not speaking well children don't speak for a reason right so it's kind of like you know I'm not, we're not speaking we don't get on very much at all like you know it's fucking I don't know someone's very blasé because this side here is lonely lonely like lonely fed up bored frustrated fucking had enough can't take this shit anymore just like hanging around you might be a piscean but like hanging around and then pff, that's not me bruv <laughs> but like uh and then this side is kind of like very blasé wandering around well what's going on with my children very weird What's the time? 32 minutes. So, sorry, Sagittarius. We're going to go on with the rest of your reading. Now we're going to do one more. Hold on. One more card, please, for Sagittarius. One more card for the person connected to Sagittarius. Please. Ace is all light and bright. So what's wrong? So what's wrong? Well, this is all to do with what's been plaguing the readings just lately. The messages are all the same. They're about people that are having to go to court over child welfare because these are mothers and having to like struggle to be in my children's life that don't want me in their life or like I'm struggling to get in my children's life because of my ex and then you're blaming your ex that's in this reading and it's the father of my children and stuff like that and blah 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 right. So single, independent, not seeing anybody right from for the majority um because this is needing access you see it's kind of saying that i need paperwork it came up for another reading i need documentation i need paperwork in order to be able to fill it in like doctor's appointments and so on and so forth or like you know i have to go here i have to report here i have to report here to find out so someone's been reported for something or deported or demoted like um reported for some kind of i don't know behavior of something and being reported here so somebody keeps reporting someone or someone got like deported like from a country and got told to leave the country with like a green card or something like that is what i'm hearing like because you need um a passport and all of that kind of thing so it might be travel you might be traveling with your mother or your mother-in-law how's that going <laughs> but like uh you know i'm hearing like i need a passport and it might be because somebody got like they got told to leave the country because of not having a passport or the right documentation here so you need the right documents so i can so i keep hearing a passport um anyway so yeah if you want the rest of the reading it's the full access bundle only sagittarius really does help me out uh but any like share comment subscription uh full reading again and then clarify two separate stories and then we're doing how does your partner think and feel about you now depending on what the story happens sometimes you get different stories out for couples or people that are having arguments split up and breakups and what their intentions are towards you of how they're thinking and feeling about you at this time 
So um, yeah, there's kind of like three readings really, but that's what we're doing at the moment over on the full access bundle. You can find the link provided below. You can reach out for a personal reading. You can also follow my other channel, which is Angel Radio, and it is free, esoteric, spiritual, dance, music, and all sorts of kind of music really. Uh, but you can find that in the link provided below. Uh, if you are a patron, follow the app. If you're not and you want to join, follow the link. Okay, I really do appreciate it, Sagittarius. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you over there.